All right, so welcome back um, to this story, I guess. Um, my journey dealing with uh, testicular cancer or suspected testicular cancer still at this point. Um, although, yeah, I'll get into that a little bit. Um, so we've had quite a bit go on since the last video. Um, I had blood tests where they came back with um, one of the tumor markers was a bit out of whack. Um, I haven't got the exact figures to hand, but yeah. So they were a little bit concerned about that. Um, I had my CT scan. Uh, thankfully, everything came back clear. Nothing came back as spreading, so that's good. Um, and I've had my operation. I have had my orchidectomy. Um... I had that Thursday just gone. So what, four days ago now? Three, four days ago, so yeah. Um, to say I'm uncomfortable is a bit of a <laughs> an understatement. Um, although it's not as bad as what I thought it was going to be. Um, I don't know if that's due to the painkillers I'm on. But I'm, I mean, to be fair, I've only taken ibuprofen today, so I'm not doing too bad. Um, but yeah, there was a complication during the surgery because usually the surgery is just a day surgery. You go in in the morning and you're home by whenever. You're home the same day usually. They like to keep you in. Um, they don't like to keep you in. But unfortunately, I was kept in and due to this complication where they had to... I'm not sure I fully understood because I was like kind of doped up on meds and anesthetic and whatnot. But from what I gather, they had to pump a load of liquid into the area because it was too restricted, if that makes sense, too tight, too restricted to do what they needed to do. Um, and then they had to leave it draining for a couple of days for that to get rid of that fluid. Um, so I had that in which I was calling my handbag, <laughs> which was really bloody annoying. Um, but that's since been removed. I came home and then we had to go back the next day, yesterday, to have that removed. Um, the hospital, holy shit, I can't thank the nurses enough. The, I don't know how they do what they do. The NHS deserves, like the, the NHS staff deserves so much more credit than they get. They deserve so much. Like if you don't think the NHS staff deserve a pay rise, then you've not been in hospital recently. The place is, the hospitals are really struggling and I think anyone that has to deal with the NHS or go through that system right now and sees the state of the system would feel the same for the most part. And I think the government in this country should be absolutely ashamed of what they've done to the NHS. But then again, everyone will still vote Tory. But that's, an that's another story. But yeah, um, plan at the moment is everything's obviously been sent off for a biopsy. I should hear in two weeks maximum um, roughly what's going on what type of tumour it was, what whether I need any further treatment, etc, etc. Um, and yeah, so at the moment I feel like I'm a bit stuck in limbo. Um, I've had everything removed, which is kind of like, yay, it's all done, it's all over, but is it? <laughs> it's like the end of a movie where it says the end, question mark? That's kind of where I am right now. Um, I'm hoping it comes back that I need no further treatment and that's the end of it. It's just great, just monitoring from that point but time will tell um where i said it's only suspected cancer blah 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 um at the moment it's not formally 100 percent been diagnosed because with testicular cancer you can't fully diagnose it until you biopsy the tumor and you can't biopsy the tumor in situ because it increases the risk of spreading tenfold with testicular cancer specifically um so that's why they go straight into a radical orchidectomy, um, which is full removal of the testicle. Um, and then they do the biopsy on the tumour and go from there. So one of the risks that was explained to me that it comes back as non-cancerous, but the urologist said that due to the results on the scans and the lesions present, present there is a 99% chance that it's cancer. They just don't know what type, but that's off the record so if it comes back as not cancerous how i'll be relieved but i'm not going to be angry 
I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'm not one of those that's going, oh, I've lost a testicle and I didn't need it. No, fuck off, mate, you know. If this shit's going to potentially save my life, you know, take them both. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But yeah. Um, oh, man. But yeah, it's just a, it's a waiting game now. Uh, I'm waiting for the results to come back. It just feels like I'm waiting constantly. I was waiting for my art, but then that got rebooked and then it got pushed forward and it got pushed back and it was like yo-yoing and I was just in constant fucking limbo. Um, a few people who know me, um, cause I stream on Twitch, they know basically what I've been going through cause I haven't shut up about it. Um, but yeah, I thought for anyone that's maybe following this series that doesn't watch me on Twitch or whatever, or who comes across these videos in years down the line, um, yeah, just kind of give you guys an update of what's gone on. Um, but yeah, as soon as I know more, I'll post the next series and I'll hopefully the next video is a good one. And it's good news, but we'll see. So until next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye.